Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So, a brand new video this week, a few pickups that I've picked up from various places, Facebook, Twitter, eBay, uh, and just reaching out to other toy sellers within Facebook groups. So, yeah, let's just get straight onto it. As you guys know, I'm still still trying to collect, still trying to bring content. So, I've been able to pick up quite a few bits. So, you would have seen in my last video, I'm trying to complete the carded set of Bucky O'Hare. I did not realise how difficult this would be. I guess since doing the last video, there's a, I guess there's a lot of people trying to do similar bits and pieces, but Bucky O'Hare seems to be like a figure now. Especially carded, you can't get hold of that easy. So I've reached out to a few toy sellers. Uh, one of the people I reached out to was Toy Scavenger, and I was able to pick up this one. So I was able to pick up Willy, uh, which is carded. You can see he's got his glasses on, comes with everything. Card's in really good shape as well. So definitely uh, grateful for picking this up by Toy Scavenger. So yes, that's two down now. I think there's 10 in total. Yep, there's 10 in total, two down, eight to go. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep getting these. I wanna complete the set and it's something I've set out for my 2021 target. So I'll just pick them up as and when I see them. Uh, yeah, so really happy with that. Uh, yeah, as you can see there. Quality, what I didn't realize about the 10, that there was gonna be another four figures apparently that were gonna be released. Uh, and I've seen the prototypes in terms of what the figures would look like, uh, what side they'd be on, so if they'd be on the good guys or the bad guys. And I'll just quickly try and put a picture up of those figures now in the top corner so you guys can see that as well. I didn't realise just that they were going to make another line to kind of move on from this. So another Bucky O'Hare, a couple of bad guys, a couple of good guys. And the other interesting bit as well is that there's quite a few variants which I didn't know about. So apparently like there's a dead eye duck with orange guns, there's a dead eye duck with grey guns, uh, similar to Bucky O'Hare, and I think it's the same with Bruiser as well. Uh, I'm not gonna collect any variants, I am literally just want a set of the carded figures. So yeah, really happy with that. And that was my first kind of pickup that I picked up, got mailed back. Next one, so in terms of gaming, so you guys know I'm always on the hunt for PlayStation 1 games. There's a lot of games I'm after. Still, still desirable ones that I need as well. Uh, but yes, quite. I don't know if it's a common game, but needed it anyway. Uh, paid six pound for it, so I was quite chuffed to get it for that price. But yeah, reloaded. So I got reloaded. Uh, I've got loaded one. Uh, definitely needed reloaded. Comes in a double case, so I'm happy with that as well. Especially for six pound, it doesn't have any manual, uh, which I'm, I'm not fussed about. To be fair, I mostly come across it uh, doing various hunts. But yeah, really happy with that. Uh, especially the price I picked that up as well next piece I picked up so brings me back to my childhood and you guys know especially within the toy community that Super 7 do a lot of kind of rebranding refresh of figures uh, from around the 90s or 90s retro icons giving them a little figure so I think if you went on the website at the moment you would see that they've got like monster in my uh, monster in my pocket no, they haven't got Monster in my pocket. They've got My Pet Monster little toys. They've got He-Man. They've got Thundercats. Uh, they've got a couple of film variants. So they've got the Toxic Crusader line, but the Toxie from the movie as well. They've got Day fr uh, from the m movie as well. And then they've also got the monster from... Uh, the monster that the brother turns into from Weird Science, which I want to pick up next. But the one I wanted, and I thought, right, it's going to look good. I've got a lot of the teddies already. You might know where this is going is like the original My Pet Monster. So I really like that one. Uh, yeah, so th there's two in the line to begin with. So there's this one, My Pet Monster. And then as you can see on the back, guys, there's the football My Pet Monster. Uh, so yeah, really, really happy with that. Unpunched as well. I'm not really too fussed about that, but it's unpunched uh, if that helps or not. But yes, definitely check out the website as well, Super 7 website. They've got loads on there. They do ship to the UK. I believe it would be a little bit obviously more expensive now given the prices have gone up. But they've also got another My Pet Monster that looks like it's the box is a TV. And it looks like he's coming out of the TV. So that is still on the Super 7 website. Check that out. Uh, I'm definitely going to purchase that more than likely next week with the uh, Weird Science uh, little figure that they brought out. But they've got loads of little 
decent retro bits in there that they've made into figures and I kind of like the Super 7 kind of stance that they put on the figures so I picked those up as well. Then during the, I think last Saturday on Ghost Booters Facebook group, uh, they have like a little, I don't know if it's a virtual boot sale or a virtual toy show. So I went on there not expecting much uh, and I've never brought off a, that group before. But I thought, right, I'll give it a go. There was loads of decent stuff on their tables uh, that they were filming and giving prices to. And I thought, oh, I need to pick a couple of these bits and pieces up. Uh, so I started going through a few bits. And the, one of the bits that came up straight away was uh, Police Academy. So I don't have anything in the Police Academy line. Uh, and the guy was top class who sold this. So he did say, look, there's a little opening at the bottom of the packaging. I'm happy with that because I just want to display it on my shelf. And obviously the head's a little bit to the side, which I don't mind about. Obviously you've got this sticker coming off, which I could tidy up. But I mostly have to give it a little clean. Uh, but the card, it's not in the it's not in the worst shape I've seen. You tend not to see a lot of Police Academy carded figures in the UK as well. So I was happy to get this. I paid £20 for it. Uh, really happy with that as well. And one of my first buyers from that group. So I definitely keep going on there because there's some other kind of American retro kind of movie figures, cartoon figures that I want. Uh, so yeah, saw that, but that's definitely a good addition to the shelves behind. And I love, again, the, uh, the kind of pop art, kind of, you know, art it's got on the packaging. Absolutely loving that. And again, that's my first Please Can Me figure. I'm happy with that. Then we get into a couple of the parcels because I've, I've opened them to see if the products are in there, which they are. Uh, but yes, I got this from someone on the same Facebook group. Uh, yeah, so I believe it's Scott, similar name to myself. Uh, but yeah, Scott's Vintage Toys. So you see there, Scott's Vintage Toys. Uh, I was really happy with this. So I brought a... Oh, I've got to open it now. So I brought a Silver Surfer Series 3. I think they're called Space Racers. I've been looking at this line for a little while, to be fair. Uh, and the figures are, are quite a bit of money in terms of what I would pay for them anyway. 40, anywhere from 35 to 40. So 35 to 40 pounds. Weren't really going to pay it for these toys. And then I just come across it on that on this kind of virtual toy fair they were having. And yeah, it was 10 pounds. So I was like, yep, Silver Surfer, 10 pounds. I'm getting it because I haven't been able to find them in line. So I will give the card a little click. Uh, the plastic a little clean up but yeah i'm really happy with that for 10 pound so yeah excellent packaging as well from uh scott in the group but yeah there's there's three to there's another three that i need to get to complete the line so you've got nova warlock and rowan the accuser uh, i may just complete the line to be fair because i thought the silver surfer one was going to be the hardest one to mostly get a decent price uh but yeah picking up for 10 pound i'm more than likely going to do the others so yeah, really happy with that. Uh, top packaging as well from Scott. And he also sent through a few little bits of freebie. So I definitely keep the card as well in case I need to get anything else. So a sealed packet of WWE heroes. Uh, yeah, quite random, but like that. And then Axe, send me two of these super, what are they? Super Slam. I remember these back in the day, Super Slam. And you get a pack of these WCW cards. So he sent me two. And in my eyes, mostly two of the, uh, they're up there with the greatest, they're legends, they're legends. So you've got AEW's, Anderson, and then, woo, the nature boy, Ric Flair. So I'm, I'm at, that's a pathetic woo, by the way, but uh, I'm actually, yeah, really chuffed with those. So thanks for those. So, yeah, definitely I'm keeping those. And I've noticed with some of the other packages that Scott's been sending out that he's putting those WCW cards in. But I, I think I've got the best two. I think I've got the best two. So, yeah, really happy with those. Oh, I didn't realise I've got another two. Three, actually. So, again, more mail-aways. Not too sure if I've spoke about it too much on my videos in the past. But I have an obsession, uh, uh, obsession even, with LPs. Uh, and everyone be going, oh, my God. God, but LPs, you know, final, they've come back in in a crazy, crazy way over the last, I, I want to say at least the last three to four years. People are just buying them again as novelty gifts. Everyone wants LPs now. You don't really see that much of them in charity shops anymore in terms of decent ones. And I find myself having to go through eBay mostly twice a week, just scrolling through to see what they've got. But not any LPs. 
and vinyl. I only do, only do movie soundtracks. And they have to be movies like from the 80s, 90s that I liked. And I end up buying them on LP, putting them away, and I've got mostly two stacks worth of movie LPs. And they're quite desirable. The price has jumped up massively in terms of what I was paying for them years ago. I remember just going into charity shops and buying, you know, Ghostbusters, Star Wars, Emperor Strikes Back, Back to the Future. I used to get these ones for like a pound each. You're not going to pick them up for a pound each. If you do, you've lucked out. You've done really, really well. So I've been looking for ages online for this one. Absolutely ages. And I've missed it a few times. And I saw it come on for 99p. I ended up paying £12. I think £12.70, a random number. Because I ended up putting my max bid at £20. Because I thought, I'm not losing it. I want it. I love the movie. And I absolutely adore the soundtrack. So it is Willow. So I picked up Willow at long last. This has been one that has been, I've missed for ages. So I've picked this up. The only other one I would say... I keep missing out on, but I've got it on CD, but I want it on vinyl, is Fright Night. So Fright Night's another one I always miss out on, and the price on that has just gone stupid now. But every so often, you get one that gets put on there, and it goes for six or seven quid, instead of the ones that people got for, for 60 to 100. So I'm just going to hold out for Fright Night. Uh, but yes, got Willow. Absolutely happy with this. Love it. That will be listened to, no doubt, during the week as I'm working from home. So, yeah, absolutely love that. So, I've been able to pick that up. Now, if we go back to the Ghost Booters group. First first time me going on there. So, I've picked up, you would have seen already, I've picked up the Police Academy figure. I've picked up the Silver Surfer uh, Space Racer figure. Now, I wasn't expecting to see these. So, there's a lot of people in the group and they put up odd pictures of loads of loose toys. So to my amazement, I'm on there and someone puts up a couple of pictures of what I've got in this box. Right, I'm not I'm not going to say what it is, but this box, what I've got here in this box, I paid £40 for. Uh, and people mostly go, oh, that's a lot for loose toys. Not necessarily given the toys that they are, but I'm going to show you guys now what I actually picked up. So I actually picked up, I'm actually ecstatic with this, but I picked up Food Fighters. So you know from my videos in the past and my tub videos that I've got a few loose Food Fighters already. But I don't have these two, and I don't have the vehicle. So for £40, I've picked up the little Tucko, maybe, let's call him. So yeah, no no, uh, no weapons or backpacks, but I'm happy with these anyway. Cause just don't, you just don't see them in the UK UK that often. Uh, unless you go to, I don't, I've never even seen them really at toy fairs. Maybe like your actual vintage toy shops, but not at toy fairs. But yeah, so picked up this guy. Picked up the ice cream. Absolutely loving that. But this is what I love the most. It's the egg carton. So it's a little loose on top, but I'm not worried about that. So you can see there, guys. Uh, not got any of the missiles. So it used to fire a flying disc and it had a little gun here. I've not got that. I'll search for them, but I don't think I'm going to find them. Uh, not for a while, anyway. They're not something you're just going to come across. But yeah, absolutely love this. I will. So I've already decided I'm going to get... I'm re-changing all this outbuilding. So the toys you see behind me, and I've got another two of these these, these kind of bookshelves with toys. I'm going to have them running across the whole back wall. And I'm going to set up my YouTube so it's looking across all of the toys with some board games at the top. So I've decided I'm going to do that. don't know when I'm going to do that. I've got a couple of weeks holiday off soon, so I'll mostly just re-change everything. But I'm going to pick up one of the glass IKEA cabinets where it's got four shelves on it. And I've decided one of the shelves, I'm going to put my loose food fighters and my loose mad ball set. So I've got a full set of mad balls with the uh, little vehicle as well. So I'm going to put them in there with the food fighters because I think they look great on one shelf together. Uh, so yeah, I'm really chuffed with this because as I was thinking of it, it come up on the page and I thought, right, I'm picking up for 40, 40 pounds, you can't go wrong. So yes, I picked that up. A uh, huge food fighter fan, but just don't come across them in the UK. So he's happy with that. Then... Lastly, so this was a strange one, but I'm very thankful for this and very blessed that I got sent this. So I speak to a lot of people on my Instagram, on my Twitter. I'm not the best at going back sometimes, especially on the Instagram and the Twitter. It's quite new to me and that's going to sound quite odd, but I don't use them that often. I tend to go back on the YouTube chat below and speak to people first is going on there. Twitter and Instagram. However, someone reached that, well, not someone, uh, Al. So Al's a viewer that watches, and I'll put up a little picture of Al in a minute in the corner in terms of that profile for Twitter. 
watches my videos, uh, likes the videos, a fan of the videos as well, uh, reached out and said, look, I've got something you might be interested in. I just want to send it to you. Uh, he had it listed on eBay, I believe, for about £49. He was like, look, I'm kind of moving at the moment. Uh, I don't want it, not got no space for it, so I want to send it to you if you want it. So he sent me a picture. I said, look, if you're if you're happy with that, I'm I'm happy for you to send it. I will cherish it in my collection and I will put it with my pet monsters, for instance. You might kind of know what this is already. Uh, so sent over to me this little chap. I'm absolutely in love with this. So thanks a lot, Al. I just, I thought it was going to be, given the pictures I was originally sent, I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger and take up more room. But he's the perfect size to go on my shelf with my pet monsters. And I kind of, I, I don't know why. I'm just, I absolutely love this thing. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm not, I don't know too much about the make. So it says, what's it say here? So crush skins, crush skins. Crushkins could be saying that right, might not be saying that right. I'll put some pictures down the side of whatever I find online on it, but it's got little hands stick together like that. Uh, but yeah, I love this guy. I just think he looks quite odd and he will definitely fit in well in my outbuilding with the My Pet Monsters, the T-Rex from Jurassic Park and King Kong. So they will all sit together up there. So yeah, I'm quite chuffed with this little guy and thanks a lot for thinking of me. Thanks a lot for sending it as well. I do really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I was quite taken back to be fair because I never really had anyone say that they want to send me something before and it, uh, you know, it fit well in what you've got and keep up the good work on the video. So yeah, thank, thanks a lot for that, Al. And yeah, really appreciate it. Keep watching. Hopefully I'll be bringing out more boot sale uh, videos and charity shop videos as we come out of this lockdown. I'm hoping that you know we may get a little bit of an inkling on the 22nd of Feb when we get an update from the government. And I'm hoping that they may you know, I'm, I'm not holding out for this, but I'm hoping they may just bring down those restrictions just a little bit that allows charity shops to open and it allows boot sales to start again. Because I do think as soon as they relax any of those restrictions or goes into a tier system, the boot sales will open because I think they were like straight off the mark straight away. And the same with charity shops. Uh, so, yeah, you guys know I'm always I'm still looking at the charity shop windows now when I'm going past because there's one charity shop near me that has an absolute window full of uh, blu-rays and there's some limited edition ones there that i want to add to my collection and i must have walked past this shop as i'm going to sainsbury's about 15 times now and i'm like oh, i need to get in there i need to get in there i want to buy these blu-rays uh so i'm hoping that happens soon but yes that's what i've picked up this week i've got more stuff coming next week uh these comics haven't come yet because i haven't paid for them yet so i'm paying for the comics next week uh so they will be in my next video and there's quite a few comics to go through and some silver age greatness there uh, so i've got that and then some more toy bits and pieces come in from facebook and no doubt as restrictions cut uh we start easing those restrictions that potentially and i'm still talking to uh the person who's selling me a toy collection and gaming collection that we can make that happen uh so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed I will put another video out next week and I'm also going to put a video out guys on this gaming, all my gaming collection I've got down here. So I'll do it as a separate video, but I think it's got to a time now, especially with what I'm seeing in the gaming community, grade, any games that are sealed and I've got plenty of sealed games here uh, for some weird reason that I've never played and desirable ones. I'm tempted to get them graded uh, just from a investment point of view because I'm, I'll, some of these games I won't open, but I'll keep them. Uh, I'll keep them sealed. I'm trying to look for one, and it always happens the way when you're trying to look for one, you can't find it. But every single Xbox One game I've got is still sealed because I don't have an Xbox One. But I've been picking them up, and the same with the Nintendo 3DS games, all from Argos. Uh, so they're all sealed as well because obviously they've uh, the 3DS has gone discontinued now, and Argos has decided to clear out their whole range for peanuts, basically. So I've just been picking them up nearly willy. Uh, as and when I can I'm trying to think if there's anything else coming up but I think that's it the only other piece that you would have seen at the beginning of the video and I didn't say this so I've been speaking to a while and a lot of people have been speaking to me about Scott why don't you do live chats why don't you do live chats everyone else is doing live chats jump on the live chats uh, and I've been thinking about it for a while I wanted to do a few but I want to do them with a little bit of a different take to what everyone else is doing uh, no doubt I'll say what I'm going to do now and there'll be loads of them that are come out in the next couple of weeks but 
I am doing a couple of YouTube chat shows, chat shows? Yeah, we'll call them chat shows, live chats, that I've got in a diary for the beginning of March. So beginning of March, I will be doing a live chat with three of my friends that I haven't seen for a while, but we've kind of grown up in different directions now, as you do as you get older, but we're coming back to, for this live chat to speak about our collections, uh, what we got to, and then where we used to source toys from, because you got to remember, I've been collecting since I was mostly about eight years old. And I remember my parents giving me as little as five pound pocket money back when I was like 10, which I would run down to pound stretchers, for instance. And I've got them at the front here. And I, I picked up, you know, I would have picked up a wacky action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, uh, Donatello. And at the time, I think it's got £4.87 on there, but it's got a cross through. I think that was around £1.95 reduced. So I remember, I remember those stories because I remember seeing them all in uh, pound stretchers. I remember going to Tesco's with my mum uh, and my mum would say, go and pick three of the Return of the Jedi original, the vintage uh, Star Wars toys because they used to have them on, I think it's like three for two. So I'd pick them up and then bring them home. Uh, and I remember just go, back then you could get like toys from the markets on the market stalls in our local high street would have toys that you'd be like, oh, what are they doing on the market? But at that time in the late 80s, early 90s, that's where you were buying the toys from. Well, that's where the toys were going. So stuff like Kenner's Bone Age, I remember all the time picking up. Uh, I definitely remember picking up the Muscle Men. And then I think we're going to talk a bit around gaming as well, because I think gaming for anyone who's collecting toys like myself in the uh, well late 80s, early 90s, this huge thing come up come around nine, 93 to 95 for me, I'd say, which was the play, the launch of the PlayStation and the N64 that just changed everything. And all of a sudden, a lot of people flipped from collecting comics, cards, you know, toys. Uh, and where I continued that and continue with gaming, a lot of my friends and two of the people I've got on that chat turned their attention straight to gaming because it just, it was a new world, a uh, new set of bits and pieces to collect. And it was, you know, the world of gaming kind of was brought to life for us at that age. So yeah, we're going to talk through that and a lot of memories and different bits and pieces we've done around that time. So yeah, you would have heard me talk about them on other chats that I've been on maybe, but yeah, there's a lot of stories to go through and mostly a lot of laughs as well. We haven't got a time limit on it, so but I'll try and keep it under at least under two hours, I say, but uh, yeah, I'll definitely have that in the next couple of weeks. I'm not going to keep going on about it because I give away too much that I'm going to kind of speak about on that time, but no doubt we speak a lot about a lot more. And them times were back when you had the Nokia 8210. So, uh, yeah, you're playing Snakes, if anyone remembers what that is. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Definitely watch out for Retro Rebels, the live chats, which will be coming up at the start of March. And, yeah, stay safe, stay safe. And, yeah, apologies, con content has been a little slow coming out. But as soon as those boot sales and charity st shops start back up, I am out there like anything and bringing contents out non-stop. So bear with me. Take care.